Hello world, I'm Rich. This is Rich's World Beer Tour. Today we're outside enjoying a nice uh, day in Minnesota. We're going to Scandinavia. We're heading to Denmark for Herr Fredriksen from the Amager Brighus. I'm not saying that right, I'm sure, but it's the Amager, I'm sure, Amager Brewery. Uh, Herr Fredriksen, so it translates to uh, Mr. Fredriksen. It's their uh, Imperial Stout from Kastrup, Denmark. See if I can uh, show it to you here. It's kind of bright outside, so it's hard to tell if I'm showing the label or not. Uh, but that's what we got. Hopefully, you can see that. Uh, it's one that uh, I've heard about. The uh, named after a good friend, without whom Amager, the brewery, would not be what it is today. Uh, they really go overboard on the malts, is what they're saying. Eight different types of malts. Uh, they're going after an American Imperial Stout. So let's see what uh, see what it's all about. To enjoy a, a nice day outside after some snow and watching the birds and uh, can enjoy a beer. Got our, our tulip glass out here, our Duvel glass, so we can enjoy this, uh, get a good nose on it. Not a lot ahead. That is a uh, that is dark. That is a black pour with a little bit of brown tan head on it. Let me show you what uh, what we've got there. You can see that. That is dark. Now you're not going to see through that. Not a lot of carbonation. A little bit of some little bubbles. Oh yeah, malt, malt, malt chocolates in there vanillas you really get the the chocolate and the malt really comes at you just a, a little bit of coffee but mostly that chocolate and malt let's see how she tastes cheers well that's nice this is uh, there's some alcohol 10.5 percent ABV no date on the bottle as to when it was uh, bottled, brewed or bottled, so I, I'm guessing this is one that probably can age for a while, especially at 10.5 percent, but boy, the, the malt hits you, the uh, chocolates, the vanilla, uh, oak, um, it's really nice. I don't know if you noticed in my, in my reviews, I think I've turned into an Imperial Stout lover, uh, or a uh, barrel-aged Imperial Stout lover. Every time I go to, to, the, to my local bottle shop, I'm drawn to that section. And uh, this is another great example. Uh, boy, they've gone overboard on, like they said, they've gone overboard on the malt. Heavy malt, sweetness, caramely, chocolate, and then at the end that stout, that coffee, the bitterness. Um, a little bit of hop, but uh, that, that bitterness comes through at the end. This is just really smooth, nice mouthfeel, medium, uh, I mean very light carbonation, but a medium mouthfeel, creamy. Um, this is really nice. It, it uh, Even though it's kind of a medium body uh, and it does coat your mouth nice, the head is uh, very little carbonation. The head is almost completely gone right now. A little lacing on the glass. Uh, not heavy at all. If you're thinking it's a bitter, bitter coffee uh, flavor to some of the stouts, this is not it. This is uh, only at the end do you get that coffee taste. This is one. I'm going to enjoy this. Sip this through the afternoon. This is a nice sipper. Got it at about 50 degrees. Um, nice. I, I've been trying things a little warmer lately brings out the flavor. Don't don't go for the American, you know, make it as thin as possible, get it as cold as possible so you can't taste it. Don't be afraid to warm up your beers a little bit. Let them warm. Uh, it's been out for probably 15-20 minutes. Get it up so that you can taste that stuff. Anyways, I'm going to give this a 9. This is a really good beer. A lot of, a lot of maltiness, that chocolate really uh, comes through with a nice flavor. Um, I don't know if I've had a Danish beer other than uh, Carlsberg or so. Uh, this is just a really good example of uh, some of the craft beers that uh, that they're making. I need to get in a little more. Um, 
this would be really good with a steak, um, which I might do. Anyways, thanks for sharing a beer with me, world. Check this out. It's the uh, uh, Herr Fredrickson or Mr. Fredrickson from the Amager uh, Brighus, Amager Brewery. Uh, maybe someone in Denmark, you can watch this and, and send me a video response on how to pronounce that. But uh, there it is, and there it is. Uh, if you're at your uh, snowy day or whatever, if you're at your local bottle shop, grab one, try one, and uh, let me know what you're thinking. Till next time, thanks for sharing a beer with me, world.